Each week, we've been bringing you the wildest weather of Nebraska and Iowa. This week, Joseph takes us to Wayne, America for this week in weather history. Joseph? Yeah, ten years ago on Wednesday was the massive Wayne tornado. You can see this thing from this video that was shot from it here. There's the left side of the tornado, right side of the tornado, off the screen over there. This tornado was over a mile and a quarter wide at times it was moving on through this little area of some light mist that you see storm chasers called this the ghost train that moved out in front of the tornado with some strong inflow winds right out ahead of it. So let's talk about some of the meteorology real quickly that sort of set up this tornado. It happened right along this warm front as it was lifting up here to the north. You had that localized tornado outbreak over northeast Nebraska in a South Dakota and Iowa. Meanwhile, in the panhandle of Nebraska, you had a historic October blizzard that dropped two feet of snow in some spots up over parts of northwestern Nebraska and then the violent tornadoes that impacted near Wayne. A lot of them clustered around Sioux City. The EF4 tornado happened in Wayne. There's also an EF2 tornado that hit the town of Macy in eastern Thurston County, but we're going to focus on the Wayne tornado right now. This tornado touched down in southern Wayne County, just clipped the eastern portion of Wayne and then continued off just to the west of Wakefield here in parts of Dixon County. It missed downtown Wayne, it missed Wayne State College, but it hit an industrial park and it also hit the Wayne Municipal Airport here as well as this continued to push on through. This is imagery here taken from Google Earth. This is sort of the before image here of what a lot of these images and buildings looked like here. And then this, as we're about to flip through right now, is the after just a couple of days afterwards a lot of these buildings completely gone the one right in the middle here that is where ef4 damage occurred wind speeds over 150 to 170 miles an hour pushed on through there the tornado continued on and hit portions of the airport as well nobody was killed in this tornado it missed wayne a little bit off to the east